All right, uh, Dr. J, uh, from our AMA, we got another question from a Melissa. Uh, she says, how does your office handle dental anxiety? Oh, Great good question. question. That'll I apply think a lot that's of kind people. of like the number one thing that our patients are concerned about. They're always anxious to come see us. A lot so, of them are, yeah. You know, whether that be from bad experiences or whatnot, um, you know, we try to, from the moment you step in the door, to really try to alter that down. So you walk in, you meet our lovely Cassie. Yeah. You know, she's going to give you a big smile. She's going to offer you a coffee. Yeah. Um, we just, we have things like, just our environment, I think, really plays a part oh, in you know, decreasing yeah, our patient's purposeful. anxiety. Um, our attitude, our assistant's attitudes. You know, we have massage chairs. We have heaters it's like in the our little, chairs. It's the little things for sure. It is. It's the little yeah. nuances that add up, and I think that really helps patients with dental anxiety. Yeah, I think that if I can jump in, there's yeah. three things that I would say. Uh, practicality wise, one of the most common things we do is um, sedatives. So we'll do like uh, oral benzodiazepines, uh, like Halcyon, which is kind of familiar, like Xanax for a lot of you guys. Uh, that really helps take the edge off for a lot of people who are mentally anxious, of course. Um, otherwise, we have nitrous, which of course has been used in dentistry for decades. Uh, it's still one of the best anxiolytics or, or relaxants that we have. And sometimes we'll combine the two. That's a really good help. Obviously, you can go all the way to sedation, like actual conscious sedation with IV in the arm, etc. And we've done that a few times with a, with a group that we used. Um, honestly, we just don't feel like we do it enough or need it enough that we, we just didn't feel like we needed to continue to use that as a service. Complicated things. We just stopped doing that. Um, overall, I will tell you this. I started this practice because of that kind of question. Um, I worked in a clinic where I did denture extractions all day, right? right. So it was like I took out almost 6,000 6, teeth my first, my first year in this practice that I was in. Um, and those stories always originated with, I haven't been to the doctor in X amount of years because I had a bad experience. Mm -hmm. uh, I was hurt or I was emotionally you know, judged or put down or whatever it may be. And I, I always hate those stories. But they're so common and, and there's so much PTSD essentially anchored to the environment of a dental office, the sight, smell, sounds, things like that. But one thing I think our patients have appreciated is that when I started the practice six years ago, I said, we've got to do things differently, deliver this differently. So we started designing the practice very differently, deliberately, like we don't have a, a, we don't have a front desk here um, because we want it to be welcoming like a, like a home and it looks very different environmentally. Uh, we do little touches, like you'd mentioned, the massage chairs, the coffee, the lattes, things like that. Our goal is just to make sure that there's not much here that's familiar to most people that are nervous and have that PTSD. To those triggers. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's that's 100% natural and you can't really help it. So we just try to avoid it. You'll notice like we don't smell like a dental office. We pay to have it not smell like a dental office with smells that go in our AC units, etc. cetera. Okay. Um, so it's a little things that add up. But overall, you know, we watch the reviews and look at the reviews and I think you'll see that most people find that, uh, that they agree with it. We're, we're, we're trying and it seems like it's working. So great question, Melissa. Thank you so much for asking.